Make way for the king! I bid ye welcome, guests from afar. Long have I heard of your grand deeds. O oh, fairy, who restored the lifeblood of the forest. O oh, hero, who... Uh, uh, huh? Navya! Hold your foul tongue! How dare you utter Her Majesty's name! <laughs> nice one, partner. Spectacular improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. All right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is a traveler and his trusty companion, Paimon. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, forgive our grievous mistake. We had no idea. <clears throat> all right. The welcome ceremony is over. Everyone back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal hospitality. Yes, your majesty. Oh, come on, I've already sent them off. So anyway, how did you guys get here? We were gonna ask you the same thing! Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? Oh, wait, don't say it! You just woke up like this, right? Sounds like you've answered your own question. But before I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Now go forth and save your city. A similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You must be the fairy of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm-hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We've faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This should be a piece of cake. Besides, life's always full of surprises. You gotta learn to just enjoy it. That sounds like a great outlook on life. You have a very optimistic spirit. Thanks, I'll take that. Honestly though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. <laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by now, aren't we? Uh, about that. Has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, he went for the stars above the city recently. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Luckily, the guards responded quickly and stopped the dragon from taking them back to his lair. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the Metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, I didn't ask yet. What brings you to the Metropole anyway? Oh, Paimon can explain! Huh, I see. So, you want to consult the Oracle of the Goddess of Prophecy. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Navia? Well, the Goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you up there. However, I've heard from the citizens here that the Goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the goddess. Oh, that's probably because the prophecy about the hero of Simulanka has been around for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Huh, okay. Still, can't hurt to try your luck. And maybe you can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. 
The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Have you come across the gift from the Goddess of Prophecy yet? You mean, the protection magic that stops them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place and unable to move. Others start repeating the same thing over and over again, like they're trapped in some kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded or the gears have slid out of place? That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an opportunity to launch an invasion. Uh, but we didn't see a single monster on our way here. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past couple of days. Of the remaining few, we trap some of them inside the castle and chase the rest back out of the city. Okay, so to summarize, not only has the magic here gotten all messed up, but the dragons also knocked some of the stars out of the sky, plus there's a bunch of monsters in the city! <sighs> sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessings. Well, defeating the dragon and the monsters should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. One of her oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that mean she plans to take the gift back? That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says, since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No, and I think they know that. But they're just too afraid to take that final, terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. Now, we could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves, but... Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city, and they should have the right to decide its future. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu, would you be willing to lend me your support? With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. Ah, thanks, partner. Seriously, like we'd ever say no? We're your friends! No need to ask us so formally in the future. I'm happy to help, too. This is a beautiful city, and just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah, great! As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. And stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge. 